Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel once again. I really apologize not for uploading videos since 6 to 8 months uh, from my last video because I was quite busy in uh, office work and I was also working on one of my startup idea. It is basically on a, uh, on a mobile app and it is soon going to be launched and I am really excited for this app and I think uh, I, I should share my experience while building that app through my YouTube channel. So going further, I will be uploading two videos, at least two videos in a week so that we can learn little faster together and we can also share your knowledge, my knowledge and we can build a cool apps through this product technology together and we can uh, have a beautiful apps on the Play Store and for different purposes of different problems to solve and to enhance our day-to-day -day life. So let's get started off today's video. Today's video is going to be uh, all about how we can connect to our Flutter app with Firebase Backend. Firebase Backend is a very quick, easy to have your data storing and retrieval with no writing of code because it is quite faster. You just need to click some few steps. Uh, you just need to follow a few steps to set up your Firebase Backend and you are good to go to store your data in uh, in JSON format, in NoSQL database format. Let's see how we can achieve that one. In my last video, we had seen how we can create a signup page and I'm going to use that signup page to connect our Firebase uh, database so that we can start our uh, real uh, application uh, so that we can have real application communication with backend and a frontend which is our mobile app. So let me take you to my code here. This is the app that we had created in last videos if you remember and if you haven't watched this video then please go to my channel and you can uh, see this. Uh, I will also add the video link in my description. You can go and watch and you can come back to this uh, particular video. So in order to achieve Firebase uh, communication with our Flutter app, first thing you need to do is you need to add Firebase core dependencies you just can, you can just go to pub.dev and type firebase core and go to installation uh, section and you can copy this and you can add here also uh, after adding this firebase core go to main method and on the top of this main method add um, avid firebase dot initialize app this is the line which is actually responsible for initializing your firebase connections with your uh, flutter app uh, and uh, one more thing that we need to do is that we need to go to Firebase and we need to set up few things with our package so that the Firebase communications actually gets established. For that, let's go to Firebase, type firebase.google.com and if you have already a Gmail account, you can go to uh, this firebase.google.com. It will lend you to this particular page and you can just click on go to console and create a new project a uh, newly project i'm just going to give the name as firebase setup see it says only letters can be available so click on next and continue and uh, no need to choose anything here just choose default account for firebase create a project the one thing you need to remember is that here go to your popspec.file not popspec.file you need to go to the builder gradle file under android under app and here you will find your package name this is very important to create your uh, firebase communication between your application and uh, fire, firebase database now here you can see uh, get started by adding your firebase to your app here we are developing for android application so click on android here provide your the package name that we just copied from our builder file so you just need to copy it and uh, you can give any name here firebase app register app
here it will ask you to download this google service.json file and and it needs to be kept inside the android app folder inside the app folder of android folder let's download this one and uh, as i had already downloaded for other projects it will be with a different name i'll copy this and i'll go to my project here android app and copy it here sorry let just let me just drag it there and just rename it i'm just renaming it because i had already two more files for other projects so just rename it and you can find your project name also com.example.firebase.sign up let's get back to the same page where we are actually setting up our firebase project click on next and it will ask you to set few things like dependencies like 4.5 this will be available go to your project level build.gradle file inside this android underscore app folder here you can find dependencies you just need to copy this let's check once here it says that uh, project level build.gradle file so here we need to go here and add this google services package dependencies now let's move to all project uh, you just need to verify this uh, these lines of course are available or not it is probably will be available as you can see google is there here is google is there google method is there so the one thing that you need to keep on eye is that the dependency one here it says that go to the app level build.gradle file and uh, uh, copy this below lines of course i'm going to copy this one to this one and uh, as you can see it is already available there and we just need to copy this one paste here and uh, firebase analytics is not that much required but let's copy it dependencies paste it here and there is another dependence that we need to add you can add it in random lines no issues in that now save this file click on next and continue to the console after that go to firebase database we need to create one firebase database in order to store something into our firebase because uh, this is the few steps that we need to follow in firebase site to enable actually the re reading and the writing uh, capability through our flutter app let's quickly create a start in test mode and uh, it takes only few steps to do that just click the default just go with the default features no need to worry about anything because it's not going to charge you anything because of the small application but in future if you are going for production one then it will actually charge based upon your usage now our firebase is set up so let's go back to our application now we have already created a form where it is saying that name email and password now we need to do some operations or actions on clicking on sign up button let's go back to our project code what we have in sign up page here if i open my sign up page on sign up page we are doing 
just validating whether the values are available or not. If it is available, then we are redirecting to another page which is called home.routenav, home page. Before doing any kind of operations on the sign up button click, we need to add another file uh, based dependencies that is called file store which, ha which I have added here you can see file store cloud, cloud file store it is actually responsible for storing and retrieving data through flutter app from file based database with the help of this cloud file store dependence we can write code to store data or to insert data into our database this is the sign up method on clicking which we can send data to our firebase backend just clicking on firebase uh, sign up button it it is required field so it is throwing errors now i'm going to give some name and email will be gmail.com and uh, password will be something like mongol123 and if you click it is redirecting to welcome page now instead of redirecting we will first store data into our files to database then if it is responding properly then we will redirect to the welcome page so let's write that code for storing data into database just now we added a dependency called firebase firestore instance this instance will create a connection to your firestore database with the help of these two lines now you can in firebase we create or we store data in a collection or in a json format which is also called a nosql so you need to create a collection for that the collection name will be uh, users and i am going to create uh, <coughs> simple uh, json format so i am going to add a data data will be in a json format uh, name will be uh, the name which we provide here and for that name controller will be here name controller dot text and for email i'm going to write email and uh, email controller dot text and for password you can store password with the help of password or controller Let's check what is the password controller dot text. Now it will then then inside the method then we can make sure it has properly inserted the data and and we can check if it, the value is null or not. Here the value is If it is not null, then we can navigate to the welcome page. Also, we can uh, print this value just to make sure what the value is available inside the value object. Let's save this and rerun the application. Now let's uh, go to the Firebase database. Here you can see there is no collection available. Now let's go to our application and give Mangal Das and uh, Mangal at Mangal at gmail.com and password will be limatech123. Click on sign up. See, it, it redirected to the welcome page with few second delay because it was writing the data into our file store. If you come here and just switch the tabs, you can see the data here. Users and uh, it created a, a document and it stored data in a JSON format, email, name and password, which we uh, gave in this welcome sign up page. This is a very easy way to play with Firebase with Flutter 
and the firebase is the very easiest backend or data storage platform so this is the how we can store or we can uh, write our data into the firestore database in the upcoming video i'll uh, show you how we can retrieve the data from Fire, Firestore database and uh, populate in our Flutter app. Till then, keep watching my channel and learn from my experience and also share your experience so that I can also learn or improve my coding skill or thought process to design beautiful apps and to create or to solve many uh, or to solve people's problem. Thank you so much for watching this video and liking my. Uh, content and to share with your friends and colleagues if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe so that we can learn from each other and we can build a stronger flutter community thank you everyone thank you again